Hey guys, what's going on? Mouse here. So today, let's talk about something that's really important for both new and old players. Crit rate. So I still get a lot of questions about this, even from experienced players, but especially for newer ones who are just starting to optimize their builds. So in this video, we'll break down how crit rate actually works, including how much crit rate stat you need for different game modes and how far you should go if you're thinking about doing over crit. So I did some fresh tests recently on a few different content types because I myself am like not sure how much crit rate I should use on all of these content. So I did tests on power of destruction, guild boss, and proof of the strong level 20 against a level 127 monster, the hobgoblin leader. So just a disclaimer, I did not go too crazy with wider tests and honestly it would take too much time and as some of you guys might remember we had to cancel a bigger theory crafting project before with some of the theory crafters in the community because of the same reason it would just take too much time thousands of damage instances but at least with what i'm about to show you with these recent tests we're able to get something that's very practical i would say something that we can actually put to use and apply right now So the first thing that you need to understand is not to trust the crit rate percent that's written here in the stats window. The reason is because the game applies a scaling based on the level of monster you're fighting. The higher the monster level, the more crit rate stat you need to reach a higher percentage. And if you are fighting something above your recommended total power, you will also get extra penalties on top of that. So you can check the descriptions here in the stats window. The required stat value increases with the monster level. But here's the important part. Crit rate passives like the one you get from skills, advancements, buffs, artifacts, weapons. These are not affected by monster level scaling or total power penalties. That's why those passive sources are extremely valuable for late game and higher level content. So before I show you the results of the test, let me first explain to you how I did it. I used Grim with 28 hits per cast with equal damage on each hit. And since we know the non-crit damage as well as the crit damage, we would know how much extra damage came from crits by comparing the total damage of both. Then I tested several crit rate stat values in the guild boss power of destruction and against the level 127 hobgoblin leader. So just for consistency, of course, I'm always gonna use standard testing stats, enough precision, enough total power, and removed fireballs that could mess with the damage. Also for the hobgoblin i had to trigger freeze immunity first because if you hit him while he's frozen the first hit deals different damage and that would mess up the data and each test on the crit rate value had 560 total hits or 20 casts of grim but do remember crit is still rng but with this amount of hits i think we can at least get a pretty decent picture of how the actual crit rate changes for each crit rate stat value so I'll just give you the summary of the results, save you some time. So let's start with the power of destruction level 60 with 4057 crit rate stat. This is almost 50% on the stats window. I only got 44.11% crit rate again with 560 total hits and bumping it up to 4898. We got 46.96% and further adding about 300 plus to 5223 it actually stayed at the same amount 46.61 percent suggesting that we might have hit the cap already so based on that my estimate for power of destruction it should be somewhere between 4057 and 4898 i feel like it's probably around 4500 crit rates that but more than 4900 it's not recommended to add any more crit rate so we don't need much over crit when playing power of destruction in any case 
As for the guild boss, level 80, so you might be wondering why level 80 if it's written as level 90. Well, it just says it's level 90, but it's actually not based on our test and existing formula that we already have from very reliable theory crafters, okay? So starting with 4,898 crit rate, we only got 21.61% actual crit rate out of the 560 hits and increasing it to 6,946 only increased it to 22.14%. So we've seen this before in my previous tests on crit rate and with other stats too. There's some kind of a floor requirement that you need to reach before the stat actually starts scaling properly. So either that's happening here or we're just dealing with bad RNG on these samples. But anyway, 6,946 resulting to 22%, it's not enough in this case. At 8,032 crit rate, we finally got 30% and pushing it to 10,080, we got 32.32%, which is just a small increase for that 2k crit rate stat. And finally, after adding 2k more, we are now at around 35% crit rate. So with these results, if you ask me, around 8,000 crit rate is already a decent breakpoint. Of course, pushing it higher will still give you small gains and it is especially helpful for those that lack crit rate passives. But as you can see, the diminishing returns on these is pretty high. And now here's where it gets really brutal. Level 127 monsters. Hobgoblin. At 8,000 crit rate stat. We only got 14.82% crit rate. <laughs> this is like almost the default crit rate already at 5%, right? And adding 2,000 more to 10k, we only got 18.39%. And even at 23,000 crit rate, we only reach about 26.07%. So... With this, you can see how insane the scaling becomes at higher level monsters. And this is exactly why passive crit rate sources become so valuable here. Because no matter how much crit rates that you add, some of you might think that, oh, I'm going to over crit unlimited crit. That does not work. You won't realistically hit 50% on these high level monsters just by stacking those stats. So just a conclusion, in simple terms, the higher the monster level, the worse your crit rate stat scales. And at some point, adding thousands and thousands and thousands of more stats only gives you very tiny increase. So it will reach a point where the increase will slow down to almost nothing. That's why passive crit rate buffs, really important. Grid set, units that have crit rate on their kit are very crucial for late game and high level fights. Hopefully this helps clarify some things. I know this is a weird mechanics to this crit rate scaling and by the way the same thing happens on crit damage on defense penetration and damage increase and precision you will observe the same kind of scaling in relation to the target's level so if you found this video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and drop a comment it will help me a lot and that's it i'll see you guys in the next one